So, you know, with RV black tanks, there are two problems. One is the sensors don't work. Two, they can stink. Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you a solution, a very inexpensive solution that Holly and I use. Stay tuned. So RV black tanks, really there's two problems. The sensors stop working and that they can really stink. Well, you know, if we haven't met yet, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures. And our channel is about all things camping. Whether you're into tent camping or RV camping, we make videos to help you have a better camping experience. And today's all about RV camping, specifically RVs, black tanks. So one of the problems is the sensors stop working and that they can stink. Well, today we're, I'm sharing with you a solution that Holly and I use to eliminate both of those problems. Well, in a black tank, you have some interesting problems that you're putting solids, you're putting a bunch of gunk in there and some toilet paper and stuff sticks to the walls. Well, when stuff sticks to the walls, that sensor can't work. It doesn't know where that level is, where the fluid level is in your tank. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you a solution that not only will keep the edges or the walls of your tank clear so the, so the sensors will work, but it'll also eliminate odors that are coming from your black tank. So our, our solution involves two really inexpensive products. Borax, which is a water softener. It can be found on your laundry aisle, or we pick ours up for almost next to nothing on Amazon. And Dawn, something that most kitchens have something like this. So using these two products combined with some warm water will help solve the problem of your sensors not working and the odors coming from your black tank. Now, this system we use isn't going to solve your problem in one treatment. It will work, however, if you, after about four, five, six maybe treatments, all of a sudden you're going to find your sensors are working and you're not getting odors from your black tank. But then if you use this on a regular basis, then you, that problem will never occur again. And you'll always have sensors that you will tell you accurately how much you have in your tank. And you're not going to have to worry about odors. And all of this can be done super inexpensively. So borax, what it does is two things actually. Borax is a water softener. It makes water slippery. So what it, it'll do when it's dissolved in water and you add it to your black tank, is it causes all the things not to stick to each other. It causes this, any tissue paper, or toilet paper, or crud to slip away from the wall so it won't stick. Then when you flush your black tank, it causes things on the bottom not to stick so that they'll be released easier. Second, and this is where the benefit of this is, and it's so cheap, is borax adds oxygen to your system. You know those, those nasty smells that come from your black tank are caused by anaerobic chemical reactions, meaning little things are happening chemically in your black tank with the absence of oxygen. So that's what causes the nasty, sm um, the, the nasty smells. Well, by adding borax, you're introducing oxygen into the system, thereby you're, having, you're stopping those anaerobic chemical reactions adding oxygen to it, and now it doesn't stink. The second is Dawn. You're going to be using Dawn, and Dawn does a couple things too. It helps break up oils. It helps also, uh, combined with your borax, to make things slippery, so that when you do flush, nothing sticks to the walls, and it doesn't stick to the floors of your black tank, and it's more efficient flushing when you go to dump. The other is by adding the warm water. By adding more water, you do two things. You increase the level of liquid in your tank, thereby causing the solids to dissolve into that liquid easier. Second is you're adding more volume to your tank prior to dumping that increases the efficiency of when you finally open that valve to get a better, more efficient flush. So the way to do this is you're going to take, oh, about a half a gallon of water and heat it up. And then you're going to add a cup of the borax to it. And then what you'll do is make sure that that's completely dissolved. It's important that you dissolve the borax before adding it to your solution, before adding it to your system, because if you don't dissolve it all the way, then borax 
undissolved will just add to the sediment problem on the bottom of your tank. Second, you can add between a quarter cup and a half cup of Dawn to that warm water borax solution that you have. You'll take that half gallon of now borax and hot water together and you'll add that to somewhere between two and five gallons of warm water. And then with that, mix that up a little bit and dump that into your toilet. So this seems like so much more work, but it really isn't. Think about it, this is so much cheaper than the alternative, and the alternative is buying those tablets that you just throw in your toilet. Those things, the cost can add up. This is so cheap. This box is next to nothing, and I bet you have a bunch of this stuff in your kitchen already. Water, cheap. Well, anyway, it is a little bit more work, but in the long run, it's so much less expensive, and I believe it's more effective. So then what you'll do with your solution, say you've got five gallons, well, you'll pour as much of it as you feel safe putting it into your black tank. Now remember, your sensors don't work, so you don't know how full your black tank is. So my recommendation is if you have to start with one gallon or two gallons, start there, and then when you get more confidence and your, so your sensors are giving you a better read, then go all the way up to five gallons. You know, if you've made too much and you have extra solution that you're just not comfortable putting down into your black tank, add it to your gray tank. It'll help take away the odors that come from your gray tank too and cause your gray tank to flush better and get some of that greasy food-based stuff, odors and particles that get into your gray tank makes it easier to flush those out as well. So the last thing that makes this thing work is if you add the solution prior to traveling to your dump station. It's the traveling, it's the agitation of going around corners, going over bumps, stopping and starting that move the water in the black tank around that cause this solution to even be more effective than if it's just sitting there. Then when you get to the dump station, pull the lever, dump the black tank, close it, fill your tank back up with fresh water to a half to two thirds, then dump again. That solution that will be left over on the walls will make that second rinse more effective. Then what you do is it may not work the first time. Your sensors, uh, for us, it took four or five times before of doing this that it worked. But now we do it every single time we're getting ready to go to the dump station. And it keeps our sensors accurate, keeps them clean. And this entire year that we've been using this system, we haven't had any odors. And so it's, it's awesome. It's inexpensive. You know, if you actually want to get one of those expensive tablets, my recommendation would be Happy Camper. Throw that in on top. It'll make things, this whole process go a little bit faster. You know, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and I hope I've given you some things that you can think about to help make your camping experience a little bit better. If you like camping-related videos, consider subscribing to our channel. And give us a big thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching. I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures. I'll see you on the next adventure.